The way we begin any administration task is we log into the telephone server and that's to take your IP address of your phone system and just uh, point your browser, in this case I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox, right to the browser. Log in with the uh, administrator login and password which will be given to you by the installers and then hit submit there and that will log you into the system. So once we log into the system we're greeted with a summary screen that shows the status of the system. We want to click on this PBX tab here. That's going to take us into the PBX functions and right to the extension functions which is what we, what we want to look at first. The things that we're going to learn how to do here is we're going to learn how to change the name, we're going to learn how to change the voicemail password, we're going to learn how to assign a direct number if you have DID numbers, we're going to learn how to adjust the voicemail to email setup and then also the follow me settings. So let's take a look at Bob McSample here and go through those things. So I click on Bob McSample and it brings up Bob's extension here. So here's the display name. If I'd like to change this, I could just edit this field and move on to the next. And when I submit, it'll change the name. Um, here's something very important to highlight here. See the secret field here? You don't want to change that. That's not anything to do with voicemail passwords. That has to do with the phone's uh, password to register to the system. So don't worry about that for now. Uh, one thing that we do a lot is people like to change your voicemail password. So you scroll down towards the bottom here and you got voicemail password. You could just click in there and edit it to change it. If you want to change the email address that these voicemails are sent to, you just edit this email address here and make sure that it says email attachment yes so you get a WAV file of that voicemail. Uh, one of the features that you have with your system is something called uh, follow me settings and uh, that lets you call a single number like my extension number here and have it find me at a variety of places so let's show how that works. I click on the add follow me settings here and that's going to bring up another box and you see here um, initial ring time that's how long it rings my phone just my phone itself but we like to go right to the follow me list here so right now it calls me at extension 200 but say that I'm I'm sometimes at extension 213 so I'll put that in there and then maybe sometimes I wanted to call my uh, cell phone at the same time too and enter that and don't forget the pound after any external number so basically when somebody calls me at extension 200 it's going to ring all of these numbers at the same time as I have it set up now I could also set it up to hunt those numbers too so it'll ring 200 then 213 and then my cell phone number as well anytime you make a change like this anytime you make a change uh, you're gonna submit changes and then you're going to apply changes right so I'll click on submit change here and then the screen will refresh and then I apply configuration changes and that'll make these changes live in the system now the last thing say that I have a DID number or direct number that you want to assign to my phone here right here in this uh, assigned DID CID I can add inbound DID and basically so I could type whatever I want here and if you have DIDs chances are you have some already set up so you want to take a look at the incoming call routes to get an idea whether you need all 10 digits, 9 digits, or just 4 digits like I'm going to show you here. But the process is really simple. So if I have a DID number that ends in 5555, I type that in the field. I scroll down to the bottom here. I click Submit. And then I click Apply Changes. Basically what's going to happen then is anytime somebody calls my number that ends in 555 it's going to ring directly to extension 200 as I have it programmed here and once you have DIDs programmed to an extension if you scroll down it shows which ones are programmed to that extension and you can have multiple DIDs per extension so if somebody leaves and you need someone to cover them that's a great way to take care of that too